If you want to automate your B2B prospecting, Google Maps is undoubtedly the ideal platform. Now you have the platform, but you are still missing the tool, and in this game, you want to make the best choice. In this video, we'll compare two Google Maps scraping tools, Lead Sniper and Scrap.io. We'll consider three criteria, user interface, extracted data, and data scalability. Hi, my name is Francois, and today we are comparing Lead Sniper and Scrap.io. Let's start with the basic what are Lead Sniper and Scrub.io? What I like to do is take a look at the home page. It allows me to determine the promise delivered to the customer. On Lead Sniper, you can read Web Scraping Made Comfortable. And on Scrub.io, Google Maps Leads Generator. Lead Sniper is not a Google Maps scraper. It's a global platform that offers, among other things, a Google Maps scraper. On the other hand, Scrap.io is solely focused on Google Maps and nothing else. If you have a hard problem, would you rather see a generalist who does a bit of everything or a cardiologist? Now that this is clear, let's move on to the technical demonstration. Okay, our first criteria is user interface, meaning how easy it is to extract your data, but also how easy is a registration process, how easy it is to sign up to create an account. Well, let's start with Scrap.io. I've jumped into Scrap.io, easy domain name, and creating an account is fairly basic, I think. We just click on create an account, we fill in the short form and we click on register, right? Nothing crazy about it, just a standard registration process. Now let's see how it goes with Lead Sniper. To be honest, I'm a bit scared because they have written an entire blog article about how to install Lead Sniper. Because that's the main difference between Scrap.io and Lead Sniper. Lead Sniper has to be installed beforehand. So uh, let's download it. Then I have to unzip the file. How do I do that? Do I have to click here? Yeah. Right click and then select extract all. Okay, let's do that. Right click, extract all. Sorry, it's in French. Extract tout. Okay, we have this pop-up now. I just have to select a specific path. And there we go, we have unzipped the file. What's next? Open installation folder. Open the unzip folder called Google Maps Scraper 3.3.2s and continue until you reach the installation file folder. Right, so installation file, okay, it's here. Open Chrome extension, that part I know how to do. Extensions, manage extensions. Enable the developer mode, mod developer. Install the extension drag the installation file folder to the extension page. Let's do that, drag and drop. It's written that it failed to download the extension. So what went wrong? Oh, okay, I can do it in another way. Load unpacked uh, installation file, select a file, and now it's working. Pin the extension for easy access. We don't have to do that, but yeah, sure. Success, that's it. <laughs> You have successfully installed the Lead Sniper Google Maps Scraper extension. We haven't yet looked at the user interface itself, and yet we can see a notable difference between Lead Sniper and Scrap.io. Scrap.io is a SaaS software as a service. In other words, it's an online tool, no installation or update required. Lead Sniper, on the other hand, is a Google Chrome extension that needs to be installed on your computer beforehand. Now, it's not the end of the world, and once you understand how it works, it's fairly easy to use. That being said, it's not exactly user-friendly. The second criteria is data extraction. Let's start with Lead Sniper. So I click on it, we will see how it goes. So for example, this is a keyword, restaurants near Nashville, Tennessee, USA. It has to be accurate for, not restaurants, but restaurants near a city, comma, a state, comma, a country. Restaurants near Nashville, Tennessee, USA. Website extraction. I think that feature is used to scrape emails. If the Google Maps card 
has a website, we can visit this website to gather additional information. Okay, let's click on start. Lead Sniper opened a new tab and what it does is simply doing the scraping by itself. So for now, the tool is scrolling down to the bottom of the page in order to gather as much data as possible. Spoilers, you are limited to 120 results per Google Maps query and that no matter how big your request is. And once it will finish scrolling down, it will extract all the data at once. I don't dare touching at something. Is it over? Maybe, maybe not. Ah, your free trial has ended. So far I had 60 leads. Can I export them? Yeah, I can export them in a CSV file. Let's do that. Or an Excel file. Okay, let's download the Excel file and see how it goes. Now for scrap.io, once I have created an account, I can go to my dashboard and I will be redirected to my search tab. Within the search tab, we can make requests and each request is divided into two parts. The activity part, meaning what type of company do you want to extract? So we have access to a lot of different Google Maps categories. I will pick up the same one. So restaurant, I can pick up another country, a United States. And the last four inputs are location criteria. Country, level one division, level two division, and city. So country and city, we understand what that means. But what about level one and level two division? Well, level one division represents the states and level two division represents a county. So for example, I can specify Tennessee, uh, Tennessee like this, and as a city, I can type Nashville. I'm specifying this because maybe there is more than one city which is called Nashville, I don't know. By specifying Tennessee, I'm pretty sure I will end up with the results I want. I click on search, I'm about to retrieve 1600 results. It's only a preview because once I click on export, scrap.io will re extract all the data to make sure you get an up-to-date database. I can filter my data out, so we have access to a lot of different filters, but for example I can say I want to get opened restaurants, which is a filter that makes sense I guess, so closed permanently, no, which has an email address, yes, sounds good, and um, I don't know, with a rating above 3 out of five. I click on filter and my filters have been correctly applied. Now I can click on export. I give a name to my export and what's more is that if I click on the advanced options, I can limit my result, my export to, for example, a hundred leads. Now I click on export and all that remains to do for me is to wait until the task is completed. Before looking at the data, let's summarize what just happened. Whether you are using Lead Sniper or Scrap.io, the extraction process is simple. The only notable difference favoring Scrap.io lies in execution. Scrap.io's extraction is seamless. You click a button and wait for the results. In the meantime, you can close the tab and keep working. With Lead Sniper, the extraction runs directly in your browser. And that comes with some drawbacks. Here is what the website states. Please make sure that only one tab is open on the browser while the tool is installed. If you continue to open multiple tabs while the tool is still running, running, it might confuse the tool, leading to improper functionality. Now let's talk about the data itself. I obtained two files, each containing over 50 columns, so I will keep it concise and start with what they have in common. In both cases, you get the standard Google Maps listing data. Name, category, number of reviews, rating, address, website, phone number, features, etc. There are some small differences. For example, Lead Sniper provides exact pricing when available Scrap.io, on the other hand, includes the breakdown of reviews, but these are minor details. When things get interesting, enrichment data. This refers to additional data scraped from company websites. Both tools retrieve social media links and email addresses when available. However, Lead Sniper limits you to a single email address, whereas Scrap.io capture all available emails. Same thing for social networks. Scrap.io also provides some unique data points, contact pages, website technologies, advertising pixels. These extra details can help you 
better segment your leads. The last criterion is scalability. How easily you can go from extracting a hundred rows to a hundred thousand rows. So with Lead Sniper, can you get a file with a hundred thousand rows? Maybe, but it will take time. As we have seen, Lead Sniper runs directly in your browser. This means it's also subject to a hundred and twenty result limit per search. For example, if I search for Bar Paris, I will still be capped at 120 results. And they are way more than 120 bars in Paris. I know it from experience. Now, what about Scrap.io? Is it possible? Can we get large extraction? Here we are back to Scrap.io. As you can notice, usually I'm only doing short extraction, demo extraction, but sometimes I see things bigger and I can perfectly scrape all restaurants in France, uh, which is quite a high number. Uh, same thing for restaurants US with a Facebook account, which is also a pretty high number. And the point is that it works just as flawlessly for extensive extraction as it does for smaller ones. The main difference lies obviously within the processing time. And depending on your plan, you can scrape leads based on a city, based on a county, based on a state, but sometimes also based on a country. So I've already shown you how to scrape leads based on a city, so for example, restaurant and uh, Nashville, I click on search, then export and so on. You know the process. Now you can also specify a specific country. I'm very sorry, I'm not really aware of the different counties in the US, so let's pick up one at random. And in the USA, I have to choose a level one division, then to select a level two division. That was my mistake, so let's pick up a state first and then a county. If I click on search, I can get leads based on an entire county. So it seems it's a small one in that example, but it works for every county, of course. Now I can also get my leads based on a state or even at a scale of a country. And now it might be a pretty huge number, right? So that's it. If you are interested in knowing more, if you want to try out Scrap.io, you can find the link in the description in which you will get your first 100 leads free of charge. This is the end of the video. You can subscribe. There is nothing else to see. Bye.